Spoiler alert, Hogwarts for the Holidays, dialogue for part two. <laughs> Welcome back to good people, Zimmons Wizarding World, your Wizarding Night Channel, Suburban Twist. Okay, third video for this event. Uh, this is the dialogue for Hogwarts for Holiday Part 2. And yes, major spoiler alert, and uh, things get quite good in Part 2. Uh, of course, Part 1 is sort of like the warm-up now uh, for Part 2, but uh, yes, it's pretty good. So, stay tuned. So, here we are, the Part 2 dialogue. It's all kicking off now. Intro, Harry. Grim Surge has returned. Once again, it appears to be centred around his memories of Christmases spent at Hogwarts with the house portraits and ghosts. Supposedly, at least. Constance and Hermione are sceptical of Grim. They suspect he may be using this surge to mislead us. Greengrass. Oh, bloody Greengrass. And you disagree? Harry. Grim has been integral in helping us understand the capabilities of the Calamity and the extent to which it can be manipulated. If he is a part of a cabal of dark witches and wizards... Matlu. Why would he communicate with us at all? Greengrass. To throw suspicion off himself? Or perhaps this is some elaborate plan to get revenge against us for closing the London Five investigation? Only Grim knows for certain. All I'm saying is be careful, Harry. It seems more than mere coincidence that Surge has come along to steal your attention right away as this sinister activity in the Calamity has reached ahead. Moving on to the images. A uh, brilliant Godric Gryffindor portrait. Harry! It's been difficult explaining to James, Lee and Albus why I haven't been home to bake gingerbread or hang stockings. Ginny has been painting me as some Godric Gryffindor-esque figure, bravely and selflessly working to fight evil. But truthfully, I would much rather be celebrating Christmas with them. So why don't I take Hermione and Constance up on their offer and take the rest of the holidays off? Hermione theorised I'm pushing myself out of a sense of obligation. She's absolutely right. Desperation drove Grimm to start the calamity desperation he might not have felt had I handled the London Five investigation better. No matter how much I love to drop everything and spend the holidays entirely with my family, I can't in good conscience do so. Not while Grimm and Penelope's children go another Christmas without their parents. That must suck. Good old Harry. Brilliant Rowena Ravenclaw portrait. Constance! When I was a student at Hogwarts, I rubbed Rowena Clayford. When I was a student at Hogwarts, I had rubbed Rowena Ravenclaw's portrait before every exam in the hopes that I could absorb some of her intelligence. Unfortunately, the only thing that wore off for me was paint. <laughs> Nearly headless Nick. Hermione. Hermione. Professor McGonagall, you're back again. Has Grimm sent a false memory to another Hogwarts ghost? McGonagall. Yes, apparently he asked Sir Nicholas to stand guard at the Grand Staircase until he's been found. Hermione. First, Grimm instructs the fat friar to mine the portraits. Now this. Is he trying to tell us someone's hiding in or behind one of the portraits in the Grand Stand case? Is that even possible? McGonagall, my dear, if there's one thing I've learned all my years at Hogwarts, is that anything is possible. McGonagall, I apologise for showing up unannounced again, but it seems Grim Fawley has once more reached out to one of Hogwarts' resident ghosts. This time, he apparently contacted the Grey Lady. Hermione, what did he say? McGonagall, we're not sure. Why, why am I going Irish? We're not sure. The only reason we know Grimm spoke to the Grey Lady at all is because she told a curious Ravenclaw as much. Apparently the student spotted her canvassing the Grand Staircase. When asked what she was up to, she said she was helping Grimm search and left. Hermione, could I speak to her? McGonagall, I'm afraid that would be impossible. You see, the Grey Lady, she's gone missing. Where'd she go? Nobody knows. This is Norris. Insert name here. Many students consider Filch to be a heartless menace, but I saw the way he cared for Mrs. Norris. No one who loved an animal that much could possibly be could possibly be all bad. Yes, mysterious note pieces. We have mysterious note pieces again. So the first piece, Constance. Look, another fragment of a note. I bet my wand it's from Grimm. I think we'll get a straight answer about why he started this surge once we reassemble all the pieces. Hermione, I think he'll give us an answer, whether or not it'll be a truthful one. Well, that's a million galleon question, isn't it? Fifth piece, Constance. I can make out part of the note now. I found one. He's written in Grimm's handwriting. Hermione, found one what? Constance, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go out on a whimping willow limb <laughs> and say it's probably not the perfect Christmas present. <laughs> the final piece, Constance. I wish I could say that everything's been cleared up now. We've assembled the entire note. But I might be even more confused than I was before. He'll be waiting for you where the Prince of Enchanters is enthroned. The rest is up to you. 
What kind of message is that? Hermione. An encoded one, no doubt. Constance. Grimmer is nothing if not cryptic, is he? Still, I can't help but wonder why, for all his posturing of needing our help, he continues to be so frustratingly vague. The riddle is one thing, but we don't even know who this he is. Hermione. Perhaps he wants to prevent the information from falling into the wrong hands. Though I'll admit it, it's also quite possibly that it's some elaborate distraction intended to take our minds off whatever has been keeping Harry up at night. Merlin's beard. Grim. What have you gotten yourself into? Hold on. Merlin. Could it be? I'll have to look into this. Could it be the portrait of Merlin? Bah. The end dialogue. Hermione. I think I've figured out Grim's message. The emphasis on portraits. The comment about the place where the Prince of Enchanters is enthroned. Advising nearly headless Nick to patrol the Grand Staircase. He's trying to tell us someone's hidden in Hogwarts's portraits of Merlin. Harry. As usual, Hermione, you're spot on. An urgent owl from Professor McGonagall just arrived. Apparently they found the Grey Lady and Kit Gerard. Nearly headless Nick spotted him inside the portrait of Merlin in the Grand Staircase. Just like you said, it's all here in her letter. Constance. Kit Gerard, as in the Kit Gerard, the reporter who went missing with the rest of the London Five. But it's been years. I thought, I mean, I assume he'd... Hermione? Died? Me too. But sure enough, the man sealed inside the portrait does indeed appear to be Kit. Though he curiously doesn't seem to be able to remember anything about himself or how he got there. Harry, this is incredible. Truly, Grimm has delivered us and the Gerard family a Christmas gift we will never forget. Holy crap. So... Big, 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 big thing. Kit Gerard has appeared. One of the London Five, who's been missing for years, is actually back. Which is kind of amazing, really. Uh, it's the first kind of proper link back to the London Five we have for quite some time. Yes, his memory has been affected and he can't remember anything. Which is jolly annoying <laughs> as a plot device. Uh, we have no way of knowing anything else. But he is back. He's back. And now from the text, the Grimm was saying that he was working on something... It seems that somehow Grimm did it. So, could my theories be true? Could uh, Grimm be held captive by the Unforgivable? And he's being forced to do uh, their will, uh, perhaps to try and get Voldemort back. But uh, he's also sneakily got Kit Gerard back as well. Into, at, least, at least into a portrait. Um, I don't know how you get someone out of a portrait. Uh, that's kind of a Hogwarts mystery thing, actually. There's someone trapped in the portrait. So Penny Haywood's sister, Beatrice, was also trapped in a portrait in Hogwarts mystery. Except, I don't know how she got out. They got her out somehow. Uh, so if you know, <laughs> I can't find it on Google. <laughs> I can't find it anyway. So if you know how that happened, uh, let me know in the comments below. So let me know in the comments below what you think about these uh, storylines, how we're going so far. I'm actually quite excited now. Um, Grim Foley is definitely still working on the London Five thing, and somehow it seems to be relatively possible. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Zillman for all the latest news as and when it comes out. Also Instagram for AR pictures and stuff like that. Uh, yes, uh, Twitch, never really got my head around it. Quite yet, but um, hopefully at some point soon, maybe in the new year, I'll be able to get something going on there. So until next time, brush up any spells, get you on sweaty, was it tonight?